Hello folks, good evening. Oh, it's night time, but whatever. I'm here with Mr. Drunky, Demented Caliber. Now he is so hey, drunk, folks. Here. He is so drunk. He drank like a... Did you ever finish that full loco? Yep. Oh, shit. I haven't he... finished it yet, but I'm near close. Oh, my God. Drinking a tall boy of full loco, which is... You know, tie. 43, 43 point, well, I suppose we'll say 43 and a half ounces at 12 point, um, 12% alcohol by volume. Yeah. There and we go. And Manic, besides, he wants to pull us off because he's very, as you guys can see, I'm here with NH Dippers, a man of the mans. So... Yeah. I don't have to hide to be able to, I don't have to drink and hide. I can drink it from my fridge. Ah, oh, dude, I right, can so do. So, what should we talk about there in age dippers? Well, huh? I don't know. How about we talk about how you think Owl is sort of an alcoholic? Okay, that's a good topic. Tyler's video, alcohol, well, oh. No, what to say to an alcoholic. So, Austin and I have a buddy named Kyle. I've shouted him out tons of times. He's been in my videos a lot. Well, sometimes, anyways. So, we're coming to the point where we think, well, not think we know Kyle's an alcoholic. Now, alcoholic means that you know, we drink too much alcohol, and, you know, yeah, being hey, alcoholic. Guys, should we get something out of the way real quick? Let's let them know that I'm actually not an alcoholic. I actually can't really, I don't drink that often. Yeah, I'm the same way. I don't drink that often. I drink once in a blue moon these days. I bought this the other day, and I uh, just started drinking it, what, today? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. I mean, shit. You know, I don't drink every day, but, you know, granted, if I had it in the refrigerator, eh, you know, drink cold beers every night. You know, it doesn't make an alcoholic. Hey, if I'm working out, all right, let me rephrase that, baby. If I'm working, it's not every day, but if I'm working out in the heat, I've been what I have to do. When I come home, yeah, I want a fucking beer. Yeah. But dude. I don't drink it every day. Yeah, dude, that's, that's, that's just a God thing, you know, like, you know, after working a long ass fucking day, your ass wants to come home and drink. Drink a fucking beer, you know. It's a good exactly. thing. Yeah, it's just a good. You know, I work construction. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, it's just a good thing, you know. But women look at it as, oh, well, you're it's gonna. It's not just a good thing either. So women, women do it as well. They work. There's like women that work construction that just want to come home and have a brisket every once in a while. Yeah. No. I shit you not, I've actually found beer cans and trash cans when I used to work at McDonald's in the bathroom. And I found a tall boy just barely cracked there, so I said, screw and drink it. <laughs> so I got pretty fucking, I got pretty fucking, I had a good buzz well, going. I've seen, it, so. I've seen it from my own two eyes. For the past week, Kyle has either went to the bar or has drank like, pretty much every day since he's been here. Mm hmm. And I've I even witnessed it myself. One time, he got so bad that I didn't talk to him for a couple of days because it was that bad. He drank from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And the next day, he's like, man, that was such a wicked hangover. I was like, dude. I was like, I was like, dude. I was like, you know what a hangover even fucking is? It means you fucking drank too much. Jesus Christ. Shit. I'm like, you know, when I well, had that, it's let like... Me correct that, John. Let, me, let me correct that just a little bit. A hangover is where you drink too much one night. You ah. Drink every day. You get, and my mom has done this, and her husband has done this. They literally drink themselves sober. Yeah. That's how bad it was. Yeah. If you drink yourself sober, you need to move on. Mm hmm. Get off the alcohol. Exactly. If you guys remember, when I turned 21, I drank every single day. Do it yeah, I was nope. just, I was the same way. You know, when I had the thirty rack, 
Ja, ja, så Yeah, it's like, you know, for example, when I had a 30 rack here in my room. The only reason I know that is because I went back and I watched two videos I made, the before and the aftermath. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but that's I like, like. I was fucking sore because I fell down the stairs. I'll live in a few story house. You know, because. Um, I, I, I think I gave John a. Uh, it was, I can't remember who it was, but I think I did give John a little tour of the house. Yeah. Uber. Yeah. So, okay, so I'll say something. So, when I had a 30 rack of Budweiser, okay, so, you know, I drink about six or so a night, and I got pretty drunk. You know, once I got to the final can, I was like, well, time to end this bitch. So, I went out of the bang, I shotgunned the fucking repeat like five times in a row. <laughs> Worst Eddie ever. And, uh, you know, I haven't drank at home ever since then. So... Because I know I mean, alcoholic runs in my family. My dad's one. My mom's one. But, well, yeah, my I mom's... Never that, John. Yeah, my mom... You've never told me that. Yeah. See, my mom is... Um, I understand where you're coming from because, like, well, the time this, my sister's real dad is an alcoholic. And uh -huh. on top of that, he is a child. Yeah. And, um... See, he has a physically met my little sister, but he's, he has talked to her like once or twice. Yeah. So I'm just. I explained to her that her dad's an alcoholic and he's a child molester, and I really don't fucking like him. So speaking of child molester, I just want to. I just came up with something right now in my head as to why Kyle drinks. Kyle's trying to. See, the way I look at it is Kyle's trying to like. He thinks the only way to make that memory go away when he sent that dick pic to a 16-year-old is by him drinking every day to make the pain go away, which doesn't fucking work. Because a lot of people who drink are trying to hide something, hide their past, well, whatever the fuck it is. I just like to drink because, well, I like to drink. Oh, dude. No, I'm the, yeah, I'm the same way, but I, no, I'm saying like with well, alcohol, I do, was. I, I do have to admit one thing. Suppress the memories of when, and don't get me wrong, I think this is fucking stupid, but the guy that my mom is married to, he, is a, he was abusive. From what I've seen, he, he is seen. He, he oh, well, that's good. That's good. That's one of the reasons why I drink is to suppress those memories. Hey, you know. Well, that and the memories of me, like, getting in a full wheel accident, getting in a car accident in 2005, it's just I've been through a lot of shit that I just wanted to. I know alcohol is not the way to do it. Yeah. So I, think well. I mean, I guess I could say I drink because fucking like, see, I was sexually molested when I was 10 and raped when I was 13. Well, it was, it was both times, but by my cousin. So, you know, and basically since I was, I was, we were all young and shit. They can not do anything, which really pissed my mom off and my stepdad off. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, my point is, you know, alcohol being an alcoholic is not good at all. Sorry, I always do that on take a joke out. Check to see how the how my gums are doing and shit on my finger. Hey guys, get out there. Ah, there's fucking guns. Not that bad, are I? Nah, they look beautiful. So, my point is, you know, being an alcoholic is not good for you. And shouldn't have to run from the law and shit by drinking. So, Daddy, I do want to say something real quick. I want to apologize to your viewers. Sorry, uh, my sister had called me because she said my grandparents are picking up another four <laughs> Sweet. Well, so. But the thing is, a lot of people would think, oh, well, that's the size of an alcoholic. No. The reason I'm actually picking up another one is for later. All right. What's wrong with that? And I may 
I'm going to be honest, I may drink a little bit of it tonight because it is a uh, football Sunday and they're still doing a lot of the fucking replays and you know, we'll probably watch that later. Yeah. But if I most of it is new because it's the weekend and I will drink very often. Right. We'll be honest with you guys. Since I stopped drinking, it has been 10 near half a year, put it that way. I'll yeah. have beer every once in a while, but. I don't drink as heavily as I used to. Yeah, shit, even I don't fuck Johnny will even, Johnny will even tell you, because I think me and Johnny were, I think, talking at that time, and then we had our little fight, and then we started talking. Yeah. But he'll tell you, it's been a while since I drank. Yeah, dude. Shit, last time I drank was like, last month. But, I mean, yeah. sometimes, you know, know, it's okay to drink, sometimes it's not. You just got to, be responsible, like it says on the label. Drink responsibly. Like, uh, Donald Trump scenario. Yeah. He should open his mouth when it's heated, not when it's not heated. Exactly. So, by the way, folks, this has been the drunken hour. hour with yeah, with drunken hour. hour with uh, yeah, yeah, drunken hour with the with Annie Stippers and Demented Caliber. You guys have a good freaking night. We're going to go play some Battlefield 4 once this mother trucker, sorry, motherfucker, sorry outlaw, is done. Okay? Okay. Bye now.